<laughs> this Asian female Google executive is trending on the internet right now. But for the wrong reasons. Yeah, this is going viral in a lot of different spheres for a lot of different reasons. Long story short, Andrew, Ryan Olahan is suing Google and Tiffany Miller for wrongful termination. Long story short, he's saying Tiffany Miller, who's from another sector of Google, was making sexual advances towards him. He rejected it. And basically, she got mad over time that he kept rejecting her, colluded with HR to get him fired. Now he's suing Google and her for millions of dollars. Yeah, I mean, the internet is having a field day with this one for a few reasons. One, it's a woman harassing a man at the workplace, which usually more commonly you would think is the other way around. So that breaks that kind of like belief. And then number two, it is an Asian female versus a white male, which of course brings up the idea of fetishization. There's another layer to it, I guess that's interesting, is that I believe that she is married to a white guy already, and then she's hitting on a white guy who is married to an Asian woman. So it's just they both. Oh man! It's like, is it a, is it makes sense or is it weird? Whatever. I'm telling I, you, man. Even a K drama writer, a novella writer, may have trouble thinking of this messiness at Google. I think it's coming on the heels of the layoffs, Andrew. People are like, hey, hey what, what's going on over there? So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. By the way, of course, we still love the YouTube platform that is owned by Google. But uh, let's get into it, Andrew. On the mainstream publications, this article went viral, and of course, the comments section turned into a war between men and women, and power dynamics, gender power mm -hmm. dynamics in the workplace. Whose side is HR commonly on? Why didn't HR escalate this? This is because everything's stacked against men. Even though pre-1970, it was stacked against women. And it's just a pendulum that's swinging in both directions unfairly. Yeah, no, I mean, that's exactly where a lot of the conversation is right now. Um, also, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, what if the roles were switched? This would be a way bigger deal. Anyways, there's other comments that are a little bit, more I guess. More surface level. More surface Some goofy. people were like, hey, why is a, a guy like Ryan Olahan working at Google, which I thought was a place for nerds? Like, this guy's super good looking. What kind of alpha chat is this? <laughs> I, I, he was the director of like food and beverage. And if you guys don't, don't know, Google is a humongous company with a humongous campus that there is a lot of food and beverage things that go around. There's he was basically of, like the jock bro at Google. Basically, Google is so big, they have a lot of different sectors now. Um, Andrew, of course, more shallow things. People were like, dude, do you think she was even hot enough to get Ryan Olahan? Yes. Like, I don't think she was hot enough. I'm not saying she's not pretty, but she wasn't hot. And this guy was hot. Yeah, um, man. She what was you, kind of a plain Jane. What do you think? He's going to risk his family and wife for this? Like, like, they're basically saying if she was hotter, the situation would be different. I, either way, what she allegedly did is wrong. Well, course. you know, the crazy thing is, I think in a weird way, his high, like, value looks wise does, like, help his case a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> some people bring that in court. Uh, your honor, look at Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> um, some people said, hey, man, I wouldn't have made it a big deal. In fact, I would have accepted Tiffany Miller's advances if I was Ryan. <laughs> I'm assuming this guy does not look like Ryan Olahan. <laughs> um, somebody said he's never going to win against a woman of color in the court of law. Plus, men never win sexual harassment suits. She was rubbing his abs. She was rubbing his abs and nobody's going to do anything. Uh, yeah, I mean... Regardless if what she did is true, yeah, she shouldn't be doing that. But That's wrong. Also, she should, she should do the But time. there was also people on the pro-woman side digging their heels in the sand going, you know what? I'm always by default going to believe the woman. Even if she's the accuser or she's the defendant, or I mean, I'm sorry, she was the attacker in this situation. Yeah. We still have to believe women. We don't yeah. know. And, and that's probably the feeling to make up for all those years, decades of women getting like, uh, uh, harassed in the workplace and then nothing happened, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Andrew, most sexual harassment lawsuits, I'm going to guess nine out of 10 of them out of 10 are the man harassing the yeah, woman, typically. For sure, and that's for sure. why this is going viral. Of course, Andrew, now we got to get to the reaction of the Asian internet spheres. Um, you know, guys, let's just keep it real. The discussion was different over here than it was on the mainstream platforms. Hmm. A lot of people were like, uh, hey guys, I, I just want to wonder this when I see this Tiffany Miller versus Ryan Olahan thing. Why do Asian women like like white guys so much? Like uh, they're just treating them to the point like they're rock stars to the point where they would risk their entire 20 year career that's super lucrative at a tech company just to try to get with a hot white guy. They would never do this for any of the Asian guys at Google even though they're Asian. Yo, isn't there this like show on Netflix where like this exact thing happened? Oh yeah, uh, Sex Life. There's a girl named Francesca who loves a good looking white guy named Cooper. So I don't know. I'm just saying a lot of people were drawing a lot of things there. Um, some people were saying, yeah, see all this talk about white guys having yellow fever. What about these Asian women having white fever? Yeah, no, I mean, definitely. I think uh, 
that there is a healthy conversation to be had about fetishization on both sides. I mean, because it takes two to tango. We know this. And here's another layer, Andrew. Olahan is a Scottish last name, and I think she's married to a white guy with the last name Miller, who also that last name can be attributed to that same, you know, UK region. Allegedly. So we don't know. It's unconfirmed, guys. We're just guessing. So it could be a Scottish fetish. Um, Scottish and, guys are, are, you know, are being And then if his wife's now. Chinese, then he has a Chinese fetish. Or not, because he's loyal. Yeah. Allegedly. Um, somebody said, hey, guys, I work deep in tech, and if you really know this world, everybody knows that everybody hooks up at Google. It goes all the way back to Larry Page and Marissa Meyer. This is just a culture at Google. It's a bunch of, like, frat nerds and sorority nerds getting together, being fun nerds, and Googlers getting frugaler. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, I think that a lot of, in a lot of workplaces, people do hook up and date. That's like fairly common because you're around these people a lot. So a lot of people meet their significant other through these types of things. I think but it happens less at Microsoft. I don't know. I, I'm just thinking Google well, is Microsoft more. is in Seattle. It's yeah, not as fun. It's you're not in as New lit. York City. Please go. Away on me. Uh, so, no, no. Some of the New York hookup culture like seeped into the. the oh yeah, offices. dude. It's uh. I mean, she was saying stuff like, "Hey Ryan, uh, my marriage lacks some spice. Does yours? Ah, like I know you like Asian women because you're married to an Asian woman. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, uh, moving on to our final takeaways, Andrew. This is so crazy, man. I read through so many internet comments. Some were serious. Some were non-serious. Some were emotionally charged. Other people were just making jokes and memes. I would say this, man. It does seem like for the 45-year-old age range that Tiffany Miller and Ryan Olahan are on, that uh, some Asian women sort of treated the hot white guys like Bad Bunny, and they were part of the Bad Bunny fan club. No, I mean... No, like, a, like a shark sensing some blood in the water, just like, boom! Yeah, I mean, he's getting treated like a celebrity. Uh, and I think a lot of people agree that that is the feeling that's how they perceive it and that's the observations that they've had right right he, like they, just they, even out in the streets yeah you kind of observe um it, yeah. yeah definitely and i and think i guess it kind of reminds me of like i don't know is it is it that every asian girl that like gets a certain level of success in american society obviously she made a pretty good amount of money she was working at google high up as a even though it was a non-core engineering non-technical position like uh is this sort of like nba players how they all get like a white wife or like a very, very, you know, mixed looking wife? Uh, I don't like, know. You know what I'm saying? Basically a group not really fully, obviously valuing itself. Well, basically the question is like when Asians rise up, do they behave like that? And do they want to more marry into the white bloodlines, right? Or they right. marry white people because white people are also at the top. Right. She didn't get with any of the data scientists or machine learning people yeah. at Google who are Asian who look like this. I, I also don't want to base everything off of this case, but I just think that if you were someone who was trying to always say like, what do you mean Asian women don't like white guys that much? It's like, this does not help your case. Right. This actually just reconfirms everything that everybody believes. But I will say this, guys. Uh, it's just another news story, right? And and it's dealing with people who work in the uh, together. And we're at this point in time where there's a lot of Asian people who work at Google. Yeah, this same case has not happened to an Asian guy yet. Um, but maybe, maybe it will soon. I don't know. But either way, I wouldn't let each and every news story control your emotions about everything, right? You got to yeah. still get out there. You got to go live your life. You oh, got to go. not Andrew, when you say get out there, you got to get out of English speaking countries. Yeah, hey, well, you got to travel. <laughs> you got to travel outside of the country. You got to live life. Guys, if you have the opportunity to work from home, you should move around. And also, I do think it's changing because you got to look, <clears throat> think about the 45-year-olds. They came from a very, very specific set of certain social dynamics. This is like pre-Asia yeah. pop, pre-everything, pre-video movies. I mean, listen, guys, as, as Asian guys, uh, there's a lot of reasons to feel down on yourself sometimes, but like things are getting better. And, you know, you just have to ride that wave while knowing that this wave or this type of stuff can still happen. So For sure. Anyway, let us know in the comment section below, why do you think this case went so viral? Uh, were you on the Asian internet side or were you on the mainstream side? Where are your thoughts? And let us know um, why everybody is extrapolating so many macro trends from this. Until next time, we the Hop Out Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.